Hi, my name is Alex Chang. I'm a nephrologist and researcher at Geisinger Health System in Danville, Pennsylvania. I just recently did a study uh, looking at parathyroid hormone levels and other mineral measures of mineral metabolism and risk of fragility fracture and mortality. Uh, we don't know, um, although we manage parathyroid levels commonly in, in clinical practice, we often don't uh, have much data on the relationship between PTH and outcomes in this population. Most of the data is in end-stage renal disease. Um, so we had about 5,000 patients who had these levels measured of PTH. Um, and because PTH is also related to calcium, phosphorus, and vitamin D, we also looked at all of those markers as well. Uh, what we found was that PTH, uh, we did not find a relationship between PTH and fragility fracture. Uh, we did find that a PTH level above uh, 100 approximately uh, was associated with a higher risk of mortality. Um, other factors related uh, to PTH that were associated with mortality included having a low calcium level, having a high phosphorus level, and having a low vitamin D level. Uh, when you look at all these things together, um, because they often affect each other and they also affect uh, bone mineral disease, uh, we found that having at least uh, two or more abnormalities in calcium, phosphorus, vitamin D, and PTH uh, was associated with a more than twofold higher risk of death. Um, the only factor, again, that we found associated with fragility fracture was uh, low calcium levels. Qualities in uh, bone mineral disorder are associated with higher risk of death, uh, but not uh, fragility fracture. Future studies are needed to better understand fragility fracture in CKD patients who are at very high risk for this condition.